Jehovah, oh Jehovah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Say it's important with Jesus, will be joy.
Amen. Amen. Amen.
He can come up and show us. We have our sister here. She wants to show us how she does it. Ah, yeah. So. Water, 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 water. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chapter 6, please. Verse 1, maybe. Verse 1, and then we try and read 3 as well. All right. Say it with me that night. One more time. That night. One more time. That night. 
twining is in the way of one. My Lolo Sue, yes, you are again. Eh? Sick you what? One more time, read that scripture. That night, stop there. One more time. What happened that night? The crew could not sleep. There are certain things that happen when the king can't sleep. <laughs> I pray that that which causes the king not to sleep concerning you will be something so good and so dark. to bring the book. Hey, mama boni ko singa lad. Isa idum tu zaku fa, bum tu zapi la ngenyin jere na chai lega. And then the book of the records of the chronicles, and they were read before the king. Kosu ude uba balo e bamboo lunch. Not knowing that that which he had done had been recorded, but it needed the Holy Spirit just to breathe. Yes. To breathe one more time. It says, verse 2. Verse 2. And it was found. Yes. Written that Mordecai, this dude here. Touch your neighbor and say, as for the anointing, Mordecai is anointing. <laughs> Mordecai had told of Bithana and Teresh, two of the king's eunuchs, the doorkeepers who had sought to lay hands on King Ahasuerus. But oh, I love verse 3. Verse 3 says, Then the king said, then the king said, What honor? <laughs> Say, what honor? I don't know what you have done that you think God, the king, has forgotten. The Holy Spirit will remind those angels that matter to begin to be ready on your behalf there are many people that say i've done this lord have you forgotten me i've done this lord have you forgotten have you forgotten the good that i have done it reads what honor dignity has been bestowed on mordecai for this and the king's servants who attended him said Nothing has been done. Hey! I will allude to the Verse 4. So the king said, Who is in the court? Mubano Okonapaj. Who is there? There was a dude there. A very devilish dude. His name was Haman. He had just entered the court of the king's palace to suggest that the king hang Mordecai. Can you see the delay of opening the books? If the books had been opened earlier and he had been blessed earlier, timing wrong. <laughs> wrong timing. See, your blessings in delaying, really, they are waiting for the right time. We are was who take a dizzy boyfriend, no humble, I bang a who sees yet to which are they, but they sue ye. Oh, many little under Pume. Then, now, how many just entered the 
outer court of the king's palace to suggest that King Hen Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared him. Ah, yes, my lady, as we don't win them. Vili njumai do ena le, he, he, verse 5. The king's servant said to him, Haman is there standing in the court? And the king said, let him come in. Hmm, la lele kutu sate nubiga jadi nto zaki. So Haman came in and the king asked him, what shall be done for the man whom the king delights to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart, whom would the king delight to honor more than me? And he goes out of town. La Lela Perwutu Hambanja. And Haman answered the king, for the man whom the king delights to honor, watch this, it's a chai shopping list. Nyeyakone shopping list. Let a royal robe be brought which the king has worn. Agadalu Haman. That was with the hotel, I saw Yake. Hey, yeah. And the horse on which the king has ridden today is Amapisa Swatan. This one is more than thing. Look at your neighbor and say, Will he be so he's a boy appearing in your quality? I live. Near was which I am other two. But he be a little Tell you, maybe be a we are you. <laughs> a horse which the king has ridden, which is the royal crest upon its head. Hey, Obabaroya was Verse 9. Then let this robe and horse be delivered to the hand of the one of the king's most noble princesses, that ye may array the man. I'm parried. When we see you, but the man that was born was we see. So many people who keep it, but who parried it. I could not eat township who pay no salary. I could not sit on flower, but the whole of Zimbabwe. Hey, and it says that he may array the man whom the king delights to honor. Then parade him on horseback through the city square and proclaim before him that shall it be done to the man say woman as well whom the king delights to honor watch the response of the king then the king said to Haman Pangisa hurry take the road and the horse as you have suggested and do so for Mordecai the Jew who sits within the king's gate. Watch the last phrase. Watch. Leave. Let's read it together. Leave nothing undone of all that you have spoken. Here is the principle. Always get the principle. This dude called Haman had prepared gallows to hang Mordecai, who was a just man. The gallows that you prepare for someone who is upright, you may just hang on them yourself. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, Please look at your neighbor and say, Ten ya codis, and a coco, ya codis, ya codis. All these are local ones of winds of SAS, ya codis, ya codis, ya codis, a simi, ya codis. If you follow that story, it's an amazing story in the Bible. He ended up hanging on the gallows that he himself had prepared. 
Don't mess around with the anointing of Mordecai. I see that anointing. Lift up your hands falling upon you today. In the name of Jesus Christ. There have been men and women that have plotted to destroy you. You may not know it. You may know it. They have plotted and they've come and said this one must never be. This one can't be blessed. This one can't survive. This one can't thrive. They have put gallows against you. They have said you must hang tonight, tomorrow, this year, next year. But I hear this word. The gallows that they have prepared, they themselves will be found hanging on them. You are Mordecai. The grace of God is mighty. Mighty over your life. In the name of Jesus. God does not forget that which you have done. He remembers. So don't throw your hands in the air. Don't give up and say, Ah, God does not see. He sees even the tears that you were crying yesterday. And the Bible says they are putting a bottle as a memory. There will come a time when the Holy Spirit says now. And when he says now, oh, he will remember you in a big way. And when God remembers you, even your neighbor is going to know that God is remembered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mordecai was a gatekeeper. He sat by the gate. He was a nobody. He sat by the gate. But the day he was remembered, <laughs> the whole of the Persian Empire, the whole of it, witnessed him being honored. We're talking of honor. May God honor you because we have honored you. Too. May he lift you up, exalt you. I know some of you, oh, you are so impatient concerning the blessings of Lord, I've done this, I've done this for you, I've done this for you, I've done. Do you think God forgets? If King Ahasuerus could not forget, do you think the King of Kings forgets that which you have done? Oh, may he remember and come to your aid. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Say Amen. Ah, put your hands together like something is about to come. In the name of Jesus. For some of you, it's the gifts that you have been offering to God. Maybe it's a singing gift. Maybe it's a preaching gift. Maybe it's any other gift. You think God has forgotten. He hears it. For some of you, it's your tithes and offerings. Lord, does this thing work? Is it working for me? How come there is, oh, there is coming a season. It could be your time. May he remember and parade you in front of all in the name of Jesus. For some of your good deeds, kindness, things that you have done to help others. And you're getting angry and sapient if you met a band. I will have looked in the toll I have and bad. Oh God remembers. And when he does, he will honor you in front of many people. Hey, I will
12, 12, verse 12. After what Mordecai went back to the king's gate, <laughs> he kept on serving in spite of him being paraded everywhere. Some of you, when you get blessed, you leave the house of God. When God anoints your voices, you sing for the devil. You forgot where the anointing came from. <laughs> After what Mordecai went back to the king's gate. He didn't go anywhere. Back to the king's gate. Watch this. But Haman hurried to his house. Hey, yeah. Morning. And with his head covered. Watch the scriptures that fall. Very careful. When Haman told his wife, Zeresh, look at the lady next to you and say, I hope you're not Zeresh. Hey. And all his friends, everything that had happened to him, his wise man and his wife, Zeresh, said to him, If Mordecai, before whom you have begun to fall, is of a Jewish descent, you will not prevail against him, but will surely fall before him. <laughs> and that being orchestrated by God, because you have been evil, even your wife, Will tell you you are falling now my friend you are alone even your so-called wise men that way cheering you up yeah I on den. yeah I on den. never plot against Mordecai whatever you do make sure you don't do that if you read this account, this man fell badly. Straight from there, he was invited by the king's wife, the queen, for dinner. He rejoiced a little bit, not knowing that was going to be his end. He hung on the gallows that he had prepared. Hey, may God help us. Wish others well? Do you really, really wish others well? How do you feel when someone of the same age group with you is blessed and you are not yet, I use the word, not yet blessed? Ladies, how do you feel when you have been praying for a husband for a long time? So to chomu nyumuntu osi jiswe la ukangeli wa mkanzi la madi. Say tato mu assistant pastor. When umuntu mkanzi le last week, how do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel if someone suddenly has a breakthrough and you don't have a breakthrough, but you have been praying? In fact, in January you went on a forty-day fast. This fool didn't go on a forty-day fast. The fool was eating. I'm a chief the Fanta. You saw him a pot. If Mordecai is of a Jewish race, of whom you have begun to fall, you will fall even further.
tell you something. Some of you, the problems that have been in your life for a long time, and you thought we're not living. Like Haman was to Mordecai. Those problems are living. They will live, they will live your life. While they were still talking with him, talking to Haman. This is Zeresh, his wife, and his friends and wise men. While they were still talking to him at all, saying, you know what? This Mordecai, who doesn't reverence me, each time I pass by the gate. Guess what, guys? I thought the king was doing it for me, so I went out of town. And it's him now. While they were still talking with him, the king's eunuchs came and hastened to bring Haman to the banquet which Esther had prepared. You know it's a deadly banquet. Watch the next verse. Is it the next chapter? Chapter 7. So the king and Haman went to dine with Queen Esther. Remember what they had said? If Mordecai is of a Jewish race, of whom we have begun to fall, he will not survive. And on the second day at the banquet of the wine, the king again said to Esther, What is your petition, Queen Esther? He shall grant it to you, and what is your request up to half the kingdom? It shall be done. Verse 3. Then Queen Esther answered and said, If I have found favor <laughs> in your sight, O king, and if it pleases the king, three people are having dinner the queen, the king, and Haman. <laughs> King, if it pleases the king, let my life be given me at my petition and my people at my request. We are to Haman. For we have been sold, my people and I, to be destroyed, to be killed, and to be annihilated. Had we been sold as a male and female slaves, I would have held my tongue. I would have kept quiet. Although the enemy could never compensate for the king's loss. Verse 5. So the king, so King Ahasuerus answered and said to Queen Esther, Who is he and where is he who would dare presume in his heart to do such a thing? Ah, verse 6. And Esther said, The adversary an enemy is this wicked Haman. So Haman was terrified before the king and queen. Listen. Then the king arose in his anger from the banquet of wine and went into the palace garden. But Haman stood before Queen Esther pleading for his life for he saw that evil was determined against him by the king and when the king returned when the king returned from the palace garden to the place of the banquet of wine Haman had fallen across the couch where Esther was then the king said Will he also assault the queen while I'm in the house? As the word left the king's mouth, but one word. Old Testament, Baba City, my uncle, Falange, is sick by what you say, for his sins of him. Verse 9. Now, Habona, one of the king's eunuchs, said to the king, Look, say, Look. The gallows 50 cubits high, which Haman made for Mordecai, 
who spoke good on the king's behalf is standing at the house of Haman. And then the king said, That's the Mordecai anointing that must fall upon your life today. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands and say, Lord Jesus, release such an anointing over my life in the name of Jesus. An anointing for elevation. An anointing that annihilates all those that seek to stop that grace flowing. All those that seek to stop that anointing flowing in my life. In the name of Jesus. The Mordecai anointing may it be upon me in a strong way in Jesus name put your hands together like this. hey please take your seats today ah yeah to say really by the Spirit of God today that in these seasons that are before us you will see nobodies being elevated by God so much so that you will not believe that it is God doing it you will think they are drug dealers or some way because God will empower people with much resources and wealth, even here in our nation. May that be your portion. In Jesus' name. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Every head bowed, please, and every eye closed. Maybe you are here for the first time, or you have come before. But you are far away from God. Far, far from Him. You say, I cannot even receive this anointing when I'm far away from you. I want to know you. I want to walk with you. So that I'm in line with your blessings, I'm in line with your protection line with your prophetic word if that's your cry today lift up your hands so that I may acknowledge it you say I need Jesus in my life you have to lift up your hand clear put it high up let me see it. I see that hand I see that hand there I see that hand I see that hand I see that hand I see that hand here I see that hand there don't put your hand down please stand up Stand up if you lifted up your hands. I saw those hands there. Please stand. Stand up. Stand. Thank you. Stand. Thank you. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Even if you didn't lift up your hand, but you sense you need Jesus. Accepting Jesus makes you a spiritual Jew. Oh yeah, you may not understand what I'm talking about. It makes you connected to Jesus. And therefore the blessings of Mordecai become yours. Please come forward here. Let me lead you to Christ. Yeah, come and, come and face me. Put your hands together for these that are coming. Thank you. Thank you. Help us, counselors. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, keep on clapping. They are coming. Keep on clapping. More, more, more. I'm a counselor. I'm Help, 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 please. Keep on, keep on moving. Keep on moving. Hey, there's a 
soccer team here, I'm sure they are ready to go and play after church today. Ah, the grace of God. I know I said take your seats, but would you please stand so that we can lead this to Christ? If you can. Accepting Christ is very straightforward. Very easy. Whosoever you are, you have the right to accept Christ. Romans 10 verse 9 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how salvation comes. So I'm going to lead you to a sinner's prayer. You follow and then your sins will be forgiven. Church, help us to pray. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. One more time. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come before you, come before you. acknowledging that I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And, today, and today, I open my heart, I open my heart. as I invite you come into my heart please Lord Jesus forgive me for all my sins wash me now by your precious blood I thank you Lord for making me your child today in the name of Jesus starting today empower me to live a life that pleases you in Jesus name Amen you are a Christian because you pray listen to what the Bible says in 2nd Corinthians 5 17 therefore if anyone is in Christ they are a new creation old things have passed away behold all things have become new so because of this prayer now, your life is starting afresh. It's a new life today. It's a new walk with Christ. Don't go back to the things that you were doing that didn't glorify God. It's a new life today. For you to grow in Christ, this is what you need to do. Find a Bible. It says there's a new born babe or new born babes. Desire the pure milk of the word that you may grow there but you grow through the word of God and may I suggest please that you find the Bible start with the book of Romans it will consolidate what you have just done today the other ingredient that makes you grow is prayer the Bible says pray without ceasing praying is talking to God any issues that you have tell them to God like you're telling a friend call him your father Father, these are the issues that I have. Help me here. Help me there. You make sure that you are doing that all the time, daily. Anytime you get time, you are talking to God. But the fourth thing that you need to do is never miss church. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. It's very important that you and I come together on a Sunday like this. Fellowship together so that you hear the word, you are taught the word therefore you can grow. Put your hands together for these champions. All right, one more time. Yay! Glory! Glory! Right, while everybody's standing, there is this lady there. Can you see the brown lady there who's talking? Yeah, last one. Please follow her just for a few minutes. They want to talk to you others, then you can come back. We'll teach you the word. Just follow down the line. Thank you. Put your hands together one more time. Thank you. One more time, church. One more time. Ah, come on, church. You can do better than that today. Glory. Glory, 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 glory. Ah. Glory, glory, glory. The presence of God is amazing. It brings conviction. 
tenderizes men's heart so that they're ready to receive. So while we're waiting for them as you stand, she was going to lead us in one song. I don't know which one, just because you have only one song today. <laughs> I know you had prepared 70 songs, but you have one song today. Come and stand there. Thank you. We're in your presence. Yeah. Let it rain.
we're praying for those that are sickly in our midst. We rebuke sickness, we rebuke infirmity, and we speak healing. Those that are depressed, spirit of depression, you have no part in God's will. In Jesus' mighty name. Those that are facing different types of trials in their lives, I pray, Lord, that you walk with them. In Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Please take your seats. We want to welcome all of you here today, in particular those that are here for the very first time. If this is your first time, lift up your hand, please. We just want to welcome you. You are here for the very first time. Right, please stand. We just want to welcome you. Don't be embarrassed. All right, you are receiving a flyer that is a fill-in form. Just remove the fill-in form, fill it in, give it back to our ushers, and thank you for coming this way today. If you have no other church, make this your church. We'll teach you the word and you grow thereby. Once you've received the form, please take your seats and fill in the fill-in form inside there. Thank you. We welcome the regulars here. Let's put our hands together for ourselves. Thank you. If you're a visitor, you're not in a hurry after the service. After the service, go down there. You will meet others there just for short fellowship over a cup of tea or drink. Tuesday is prayer meeting, 5.30 here. Don't miss 5.30 Tuesday. Make sure you don't miss that. Next. Evangelism this Saturday is Njube. The time of meeting here is 9.30. Let's meet here 9.30, please. Talk to the person sitting next to you, say 9.30. We are evangelizing on Saturday. We are going to Njube. We want to see you. We want to see you 9.30 here. Please, please. I know Sheps will remind you again through the social media make sure you are with us here ushering department would like to extend an invitation to the church all those interested in joining the department of ushering all right who are the ushers these ladies and men that stand up put order here but they do much more than that they come early here to make sure everything is in place here from the auditorium to the back right there and if you want to join that ministry i see it's written shaman here is shaman here shaman is here today oh yeah shaman come right here i'm thinking it was shaman uh, uh, all right this is shaman see shaman where will you be standing shaman after the service right there if you can see her if you want to join ashes thank you next there is a service this afternoon, 2 p.m., and this service is called A Place. Okay, 2 p.m., there is the leader of A Place there. Please stand there. Thank you. Thank you. Then M, we are inviting all the young adults, those from the ages of 22 to 30, to a special service next Sunday. So they alternate. You see, today is A Place following sunday is the emites please for more information see minister i don't see it today but sasha is here where is sasha sasha is a tall man that we can't always he's still down there okay next choir announcements this special choir award-winning choir is inviting those interested in joining the choir for vocals I think we recruited quite a lot for you last time, isn't it? If you're still interested, you can play an instrument or you want to learn to sing properly, not like the person sitting next to you, but to sing properly, please see Pastor Cook. Yes, <laughs> there's Pastor Cook. She will be by this side, all right, where she is. Thank you. Next, MLI Thursday prayer meetings. Thursday prayer meetings 
here at 5.30. Is it 5 for 5.30? 5.30, all right. What's it, Milai? That's the wing of the ladies' ministry. Right here, please come and join for prayer. The prayers, 5.30 to 6.30, just one hour. Okay. Home groups, everyone is encouraged. Can I see all home group leaders, please? If you're a home group leader, stand up right here. Since we're having a board meeting, come and stand with me facing the church. Cell group leader, if you're a cell group leader, come through. Uncle Babu Matam, how are you, Babu Matam? You're back, Babu Matam. Thank you. You're a good man, Babu Matam. Yeah. The wife is still around. You didn't find her gone. No, she's there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me quickly start with uh, Priscilla. This is Priscilla. You lead your home group where, Priscilla? Nkulumane 12. Can those in Nkulumane 12, please, if you, do I have anybody in Nkulumane 12? Stand up. If you are from Nkulumane 12. If you don't belong to this home group, Kulumane 12, right. Priscilla, you have a pen and a paper. You may need to go there and talk to her, find out where she is. We want to pastor you better. We want to pastor you in an effective manner. We want you to belong to a cell group. Next, ma'am, which home group? Pumula North. Is there anybody in church here who belongs to Pumula North? No, I don't even need a man. Pumula North. Anybody Pumula North? Lift up your hand, Pumula North. Help me, Gulube, there you are in the back, you are seeing. Pumula North, Pumula North. Other than the people that are already going there. Ma'am, thank you. You can take your seat. I don't see anybody from Pumula North. Thank you. Which is your area? Goben Jathon Kruf. Can I see all those staying in Jathon Kruf? Please stand, 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 stand. Stand. Anybody else? Anya, you go there. I hope you have a pen and a paper. Right. Yes. Benside. Benside. All right. Anybody who stays in Benside? Benside. Benside, Benside, Benside here. Benside, Benside, Benside. Check, check. You are checking that corner for me, eh? Benside. Right. No, thank you. Next. Machobani. Spayani. Ismayan area. Machobani, Ismayan area. Machobani. Is there anybody coming from Machobani? Ismayan area. Is there anybody? All right, carrots, thank you. GUGU, G -U, Sebabs. Sebabs. Sebabs, right here. Sebabs, Sebabs, Sebabs. Not when I say right here, I don't mean in town. Sebabs, is there anyone who comes from? The beautiful suburbs. Right? Seems no. Thank you. Old Lopengula. Is there anybody who lives in Old Lopengula? There, there is Old Lopengula. Please. That's your, that's your group. Oh, okay. All of them are your group, including this man. Oh, okay. So you know them. That, that's fine. Yeah, Mzeliga is B54. So P54 can as well cover P54 and others. But in Zilliga, P54, around P54, there is C square, there is A square, there, all around. Right. Go, go, go there, Doc. Just make sure. Matang, where are you doing? Q38. Remain standing, people from Zilliga, she's coming. Q what? Q38. Q38. Q is next to R. Yes, next to P. P. P, Q. Right. P square, there is someone. She's with you. Anybody else? PQ around. There, she's with you. Ah. PQ, anybody else? PQ, thank you. So they are covered already. CBD1, which is the city center. Sixth Avenue going backwards. We see our land. Right. Now, a town lapima flating. Please lift up your hand. We, we, they are here. You are here. But you are already there. Thank you. So it means everybody's covered. Thank you. Macham Thope and Cowdery Park. Selborne Park, I'm sorry. Macham Thope and Park. 
My jump rope is so open back. Is he right? All this. Right? This? Is he, is he part of it? Is, is she part of it? Yeah, if you're part of it, that's why. But he is not. Yeah. Capture, capture. Baba Fields. Baba Fields. is a mafflet running in Voktoi. Dabaziduna. Baba Fields, Dabaziduna. PF, Dabaziduna. PF, PF, oh, where? It is a home. So you are covered there. Thank, Thank you. Share. Green, hmm? Green Hill and Morningside. Of we are not equal, it is Green Hill Morningside. Green Hill Morningside. Green Hill Morningside. No, nobody. Oops. Okay. Thank you. Islander Woodlands Malindela. Islander Woodlands Malindela. Until you keep your foot up. Uh, stand up, stand, stand all up. Now I see the problems is that I won't give up a name. Thank you. Next. Are they covered? Someone. There's someone where? Someone there. Pr remain standing. She will capture all this. Remain standing. Thank you. Chabalala Extension 1. Chabalala Extension 1. Chabalala. Other than those, there is one there. She's already in there. Anybody else? Chabala extension one. Thank you. I think we're done. Chips. Lopemula. Nye. Lopemula nye skulilo. Skulile onkanyes. Lopemula. Lopemula, 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 Lopemula. Where? Oh, there is, there is a group there. Chips. There'll be someone there as well, but start, start, start here, here with me. Next, Montgomery A. Montgomery A. Montgomery, Montgomery, Montgomery. All right. We don't want to hear that you are not pastor. Oh yeah, the Balame Church. We are putting a home group that meets Wednesdays next to where you are so that your needs can be taken care of. Thank you. Thank you, Abakuda. Partners, Sunnyside and Roman Park. Yeah. Partners, Sunnyside, Roman Park. Those that live in those areas, well, uh -huh. you are covered already. Next. There is there. Right. Thank you. Anybody else? Other than that lady there. Yes, this is Famona, the two of you. Famona, 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 Famona. Anybody around Famona, Famona itself, there is Famona there. What do we? Mm. Capture, capture. <laughs> and then, see be the right here if you think it's convenient for you to just come to church on a Wednesday. The home group starts at five, five to six, they're gone. And you think this is this is convenient for you? Is she part of it? But please stand. Thank you. Those that say I'd rather come to church, I'm just in town before I go home. Anybody else? And you need to capture. Yeah. Is it remain standing? Remain standing. Chisque Mziligazi. Chisque Mziligazi. Chisque. Is she part of it? Chisque, there's a, somebody there. You need to capture those. Get a nine. Near Jehovah's Witness. Get a nine. She is not a Jehovah's Witness, but she says near Jehovah's Witness. Uh, yeah. Next to Jehovah's Witness. Get a nine. Is there anybody else? Get a nine. Nobody. Thank you. Kulumane Soksile. Kulumane Soksile. Kulumane, 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 Kulumane. All right. Popoma, Popoma, first. Oh, Popo, Popoma flats and Popoma, Popoma flats, Popoma. Anybody Popoma? You are checking Baba Guru. Is there Popoma there? There, there is, there is like. You won't forget those. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, all right. 
Let's find out the rest of you where you live. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. I am going to pick all of you to make sure that you are belonging to a hope group. Katidere sala nga pila. Ndere kubo nguti othala in this row. Let me start with this row. Where do you live? At what? Oh, yeah. Where do you live? Eh? Kensington. Kensington. So we don't have a home group in Kensington. Next. North End. Do we have a home group in North End? Next. Morning side. Do you belong? You belong. You, you belong. You belong. Say open back. You belong. Do we have? Can you tell me about all right, all those who are not in a home group, please stand up. You don't go to a home group, please stand up. All right. All those in, not in a home group. Since I'm going to go to which home group do you belong? We asked you. Leni a group, Leni is sitting there to the I tell you, Maria. Iba banga, area. Where is your lady? Oh, that's your team. Yeah. How are you? Because your wife was saying uh, yeah, she wants to be a pastor and I'll come and see you disappeared. Oh. Who can also say that? So you're coming. Do you still want to join? The okay. Pastor Pta, now to the old man. Waiting, they waited for you. All right. Don't do this up in Indonesia. Oh, okay. I started a cono country. Tell a limbo in a part of the villa. Spelling a local group, can't and you violate that. Ulum ule mo mo mo. No bushi. Uza buya zoli di home group. Gela limpa ma addresses. He address here, so that you be bushi home group. See abo. This is a good man. I love this man. All right. Lina long ke long ke li sukum. Lina, you are taken care of under this. Please, you can take take your seat. Where do you stay, ma? Em kanin. How? Was a few Eh, eh, eh? The sisters with who? Oh, <laughs> no, that's fine. Yeah. Lean again. Luvev, Luvev, allow And then? Nothing. Luvev, two. All right, come through, come through, bearing up, lean two. Who else lives in Luvev who's standing up? Yeah, nothing. Did you say nothing? Right. Luveve, let's sort this one out. Nothing, please come. You said nothing. Hmm. Nothing, love me. See you, Bongo. Legion. Hey, hey. Now, my kid and uncle up in the. Yes, that. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. I said that. <laughs> Who else comes from nothing? Nothing, nothing. Pastor Wu? Molly, this is your home group. Yeah. Could you take their number? Could you take their address? With who? But you will find out the later until you take, if you can, hand over the baby. The, oh, are you wanting? 
he had hand over the baby so that they would know you. Yeah. I, <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Right, you're dealing with these, find out where they stay. Ninangapa? Luveve. Right. Luveve is uh, which area is, which other area is near Luveve? Kovaland. Mbarose Kovaland. Lealiti Home Group. It's a waste when they can lead others. All right. I'm going to address you. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Hey, Nyabonga, Chirambakubu, Tababui. Seveza, Buya. Little, Nga? Old Makwekwe. Old Makwekwe? I still have the old Makwekwe as of now. All right, thank you, Papa. Says, Sam Kumbula, Sankta. Nga, Pa? Eh? Esi Zinda. I still have home group, Esi Zinda. Mbarumi, you tell Esi Zinda. Eh? Unga, Po, Esi Zinda. Right, we are 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 we a country park. Oh, are you staying different from one place from your mother? That's your mother, is it? Yes. Oh. It's a long story. It's a long story. Go over the little minion, but. Okay. It's a long story indeed. Uh, all right. Uh, Ma'am, the attorney's cut is on board and long kilo away. Yeah, okay. We born a little more in five appointment, then I can talk to you. Asha, mm. where are you? Where? Mkanun. Mkanun. Makandel. Do we have anything in Makandel? No? Which? Uh, thank you. Partners. Parklands. Parklands, Parklands, Parklands. Oh, my Parklands. How? Seven to a Parklands. Oh, my boy Parklands. Come through, ma'am. Come, come, come right here. Come through, Lawe Parklands. Parklands, Parklands, come through. Bang up over your Parklands. Right. Uttori lo 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 Adams is a West End. Eh, you want to be sent to Nyako? Nang nang uba balapa ulumga ke mude uba balu. Eh, nansi home group la. Tata man names la. Eh, napa se li ride. Li uchu gupe. When away do you stay? Now it's a in. Eh? Oh, Charlie, we are lap. Okay, so you can go. I hope you are we are lap. Udu Charlie, we are lap. We are we Okay, that's fine. You can take it. I sing and tell us something, then we'll come back to you. Oh, I didn't. I'm not about the chicken. Listen up. In your ways, you tell him, put in, little him, put in. Oh, can you check with your husband? I'm as a formula, then let us know. Okay, right. 
Thank you. 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 Just in case. All right. Yes, we are Napa. Sorry to keep you standing. Napa, which area? Sorry, Chabalala. Old Chabalala. I heard somebody Chabalala here. Oh, well. Ka. All right. That man there wearing a suit, busy taking. Please, the two of you stay in Chabalala. Sorry? Extend. Is it far from where you are? Very far. Ah, very far. All right, take take your seat. Thank you. Napa. Na. Makweke North. Pelandava. Pelandava Makweke North. We have nothing there. Thank you. Napa in. Makweke North. The two of you. Makweke North. Anybody else? Not as yet. Oh, the, you are Makweke North as well. You are, you, are, you are a family, isn't it? All right, let's leave that one for the time. Thank you. Which area is it? Waterford. I know not as yet. Certainly I know that. Yeah. Napa? Keta 7. All three of you. Keta 7. Do we have Keta 7? Keta 7? Can you shoot? Can you shoot this one? I saw you, Akule. All right. Thank you. Oh, uba buzit. Tala look at me, le baba. Tala nga. Mapi. Montgomery. Ika chana. Ika chana la lab. Ku ika chana. Asimen ewa katisi. Thank you. Uban. Uban? Oh, you're in a fully home group, aren't you? Oh, this from where? Can you ask from where? Country Park? How? Eh? It's our top of it. Country Park? Is Country Park there? No. Which area? Hillside. Oh, hillside. What? Where is it? Where is hillside? You are minister priest. How minister priest? Why move on up? This is the morning side. Hey. Ah. Right. No, thank you. You can take your seat. Lina ni gera na puma onko. Mkana li bisho jere tuze. So jere ni tuze makasto mam. Napa. Where do you stay? Famona. So which home group do you go to? Now, 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 Mr. Shira. Okay, that's good. You are here. Montrus. You are near where? Oh, your dad's home. Oh, you, you, that's where you, yeah, that's fine. Next. Selburn Park. Liam Boy. Oh, you are together. That's good. Next. Ocean. Selburn Park. Liam Boy. Say we could deny. It's the wrong way. That's the address. Next. You go away? To where? Ega Sasha. Yi pega sash. Na? Tumba de ti. Sasha, na umuntu wa pe sash. All right. Next. Kweru. Popo kumalo. Ha kumalo. Sebaps. Limtopi, limtopi address lap. Eh, next. Keith. Kingsdale. Hey. No, not as yet. What? Penside. But Penside was announced. Where is Penside? 
Mr. Green. We are, we are. All right. Next. Morning side. We are humble. Morning side. Ha. <laughs> when you cast to me, Chile, lie away. Morning side. Eh, we share it. Share it. Now we want to walk. We want to share it. We want now we want to walk. We are going to ask you to the next week, share it. We are going to walk. Eh, we are going to share it. Eh, we share it. Next. Eh? You come here. You, you must come here. He will be coming here. He says he will be coming here. This man. Yeah, capture his name. Next. Kensington. Kensington. Not yet. Kensington, no. Next. Eh? We work out of town. That's right. Oh, Matam. Matam. Nam, Lee Long Choir. Right, next. So stop. We don't have anything so stop. No. But are you in the CBD? Do you work? Pass through here. Yeah. Next. To PF. Mpilo, PF. Uh -huh. And Gubeja Thorn Group. You go to home group. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. Yeah? Romney Park. Romney Park? If you take it. All right. Mbando? Sunning Hill. Sunning Hill. I am not so sure that we have anything. <laughs> oh, no, not as yet, ma'am. Nothing sunning again. Waterford. Ah, I thought I heard someone Waterford somewhere. Waterford? Waterford one? Anybody else Waterford this side? Say, you stay in your parents' home. Eh? Could you take his address? Right. We are up about Massinian quickly. Thank you. Oh, you make it in town. So yes, I will lead your own group. Okay, so you make it here in town. Who is? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Chapel. Thank you. Hey, when's the move past the church? No, but if you don't belong to a home group, anything happens, no one knows. You will complain and say, No one cares about me. I belong to that church. It's an exciting church, but. They don't follow me up when I'm sick. If you belong to a home group, they will know about you. Are you understanding what we're talking about? Yeah. So it's up to you, please, to make sure. Next time you come here and you're complaining and saying, I will love, 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 I Light one. It's you. Please stand. Do you belong to a home group? Oh, okay. Yeah. So any. It wasn't explained to you very well. It wasn't explained to me. Okay. I hope so. Yeah. But if ever there is an issue of care, Please, that should be that. Okay, so that we don't have problems here. Yeah. Hmm. Right, next. And let you let me know. secret. Um, to have a secret, we are lawyer. We are lawyer. No one chela ya chela but book. But of course, chela secret ya kibu. All right, offering time now.
We are believing that you are holding an envelope. We are giving towards music, towards building project, and finally, tithes and offerings. Choose any or do all. Choice is yours. Choose any or do all. Choose any or do all. Belong to a home group. You won't complain if you belong to a home group. Someone will care for you there. Someone will let us know if you are not well. If you are complaining, we will answer you and say, do you belong to a home group? You must belong to a home group. Very important to belong to a home group. All right, put 2 Corinthians 9, verses 6 to 8, please. Let me explain while we are issuing out uh, envelopes concerning funerals. I continually explain it so that it's clear. If you lose a father, a mother, or someone that raised you, a guardian, all right your home group will tell people of the church and then they will come in and take care of that service if there is nobody else who is responsible father mother siblings father mother brother sister or someone that raised you your home group leader will tell the church in the when we mean the church, the pastors who will come in and hold that service if there is no other service. But anything outside that, it is your home group leader that must do that should you require those services. Home group leader. I hope we are clear with that one. I hope there is no confusion, right? The home group leader is responsible for that. Home group leader, you're responsible. We issued out notes as to how to bury, how to conduct services. All those are available so that we can help. Otherwise, we will stretch ourselves too far and we will fail. All right. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Verse 10, 7. 7. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Verse 8. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you always having all sufficiency, in all things may have an abundance for every good work. Lift up your envelopes and let's pray. Father, we believe in seeds that are sown, that come back as a harvest in our lives. Let it be so with us today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Please stand there's a song here coming through and thank you
we can teach and go home. Thank you so much, musicians. Well, why don't you put your hands together for musicians today? Thank you. Just to say thank you for being here and thank you for listening to this word in advance. The thanks is in advance, that is. Uh, we are talking about how to honor someone with your substance. How to honor someone with your substance. Remember, we've been talking about honor different formats, but today, honoring someone with your substance. It could be God, it could be someone that you love, respect, but you have substance in it. It's very important to know that too. That's another form of honor that you and I must practice. All right, let's read Proverbs 3, verse 9. It reads, honor the Lord with your possessions. Can you see that substance there? Telling you instantly, if you are to honor the Lord, honor the Lord with your possessions. But you can honor God in many ways, but this is another way of honoring God. And with the first fruits of all your increase. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will anoint your word as we share it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Take your seats. There are two types of honor described in the Bible. Two types of honor described in the Bible. Also, the dictionary has two types of honor. Two types of honor. You can honor someone with your substance and you can also honor someone without your substance. Putting a balance here so that you know. So you can honor someone with your substance. You can honor someone without substance. So the Bible or the scriptures that we read state, honor the Lord with your substance. And that's one of the most famous scriptures in the Bible. So the Bible therefore there is teaching you to honor someone by giving them something. When you give something of good value, high value to someone, you are honoring someone. But make sure that that which you are giving is of high value. It's not the situation that I described where someone gave me long back, many years back, <laughs> Uh, gave me uh, several underpants that they had worn, big ones. They just piled them up and, and said they were honoring me by giving. That's a lot of rubbish. Mm. So Jesus therefore teaches us that we will never be free from honor, especially honoring our fathers and mothers with substance. That as long as you have a father, mother, or someone that you look to, substance must come in there at a certain point in time as you honor them. Notice the scripture that we are reading now. The scripture says this. He said to them, all too well you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your tradition. These guys wanted to keep their tradition. They ignored the commandment of God. For Moses said, honor your father and your mother, and he who curses his father or mother, let him be put to death. Verse 11. But you say, if a man says to his father or mother, whatever profit you might have received from me is common. That word there means that is a gift to God. Verse 12. Then you no longer let him do anything for his father or mother. 
Can you see that God demands that when you honor your own parents, you honor them with substance. It's very important that you honor them with substance. Let me give you therefore five points here, then we can go home. Number one. Number one. Honor with your substance by presenting something the person does not need or cannot use. <laughs> Most well-to-do people don't need substance. But it is you who's honoring who must disregard their needs and just go on anyway and bless them with substance. Mm -hmm. Because at times when you look at someone, you think, what will I give this person? I mean, they seem like they have everything. It doesn't matter. Honor does not say they have everything, therefore I'm giving them nothing. Honor simply says, I see that they have everything, but I am going to honor them anyway, and that counts before God. Say amen. Mm -hmm. Most leaders don't need anything. They don't need it. But you who are seeking to honor that person, find it within yourself to say, I know this may not mean much to them, but it means much to me. So I'm going to honor that particular person. And therefore it works mightily for you. Amen. In our midst, we have pastors here. Let me use all these pastors that are here. I don't think sheep ever understand to honor a pastor. Forget me. I'm, I'm talking about pastors here. Yeah. These are pastors. Pastors love you. You're pastors, isn't it? Mm. It will be to your advantage to make sure that you honor them with substance. These are pastors. I know they feel bad when I say I'm a bad receiver too. I'm, I'm like that. Yeah, yeah. So I understand. It's up to you as a congregant or someone that looks to these leaders to make sure that you teach yourself to honor them with substance. Because they cannot speak, but I will speak. So that the blessing comes to your account. Once you teach yourself this area of honor, you will open certain avenues in your life, in your spiritual life, that will transform your life. Say amen. amen. It's very important. Please stand. If you're a pastor here, stand. Come and stand here. I think you have to have a Come and stand here and, yeah, thank you. Come, come, come. Mm. These are pastors, I know most of them don't need anything from anybody. Okay, you can look at these two and say they don't need anything. They run their business and so forth. They don't need anything from anyone. Don't make a mistake like that yourself and say, therefore, I will do nothing. It's very important that once in a while, you honor them with a gift for your account. They're not looking for it. I don't think even if you gave them that gift, they would use it. <laughs> but your job is just to present that and honor them. It will open certain avenues that are not opening now not because they look for money. They are not looking for money. They are giving. Like me, I give more. I give more, possibly, than what I receive. But it's important that you understand that they are pastors. They will need that. These two, equally so. Abanye la pe eli no tile umbelan. Tela no mama la valiba enzi zipo sa. Unte lu wuni zipo. Kage zipo. Na amta just kuma. Just you to mamma fundis. Nakela would we be a pendant of Rupet, and my mamma fundis Gafunu Peter, 
kukushikwe mna ingafuni. But we na wote hambi epe nduza kuche yenumchie njala uzabuni kuduza penda inu mbega pend. Eh, inzi police. Eh, mdelu wa inzi pama. I scored my chombino and drama. I mean, my chombino. But <laughs> it's up to you to honor in different ways. Yeah. So for me, the person I look to, I honor them continuously. Now, this week I had that they were in Harare. I went there. I went there carrying a seat. Yeah. Wherever they are, I'm carrying a seat. Yeah, I just want to bless you. They don't need that to me. Possibly they have lots of money, lots of resources. It is me that need to put that seed into them. So it's my responsibility to do that. Okay, it's a gospel that will help you. I'm not swinging to the other side. No, I'm simply saying scripture is very clear as you will see. They are pastors. Yeah. Do mama chat in Europe cricket here. Oh, mama, no listen to that. Is he in a pen site? You had a Nyaya saying, Yakon, is he in a pa, is he in a pez, is he in a pan, is he in a secretary? She does not need anything from you. But if you make a mistake and say because she has things and therefore she does not need anything, if ten dollars is crucial to you, bless her with it. Let her sort herself out. She will know what to do with it. She may not need it, but it's to your account to do that. And therefore, many people that are perceived to have enough, no one honors them. And therefore, people can't tap into that. There is Molly. Molly is my PA. Hey. Molly is a paid receiver too. She's a pastor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but Ninda, I could have cast, but Ninda, but Ninda, I could have cast, but it is to account to do that. I'm just changing your mindset so that you will understand how church gets blessed and how people get blessed in life and in ministry. They don't need it, but it is to account. To look and say, Abba fundis mamilabana, let me do that. You'll be surprised what will happen. I am just teaching you what I do. What I do. What brings blessings to me. I wouldn't teach it to you if it doesn't work for me. Yeah. Wherever I find the person that I want to honor, I am carrying the gift. Yeah. I may need to wait for them if they're busy. I wait for them. Wait. Times I wait for 30 minutes. Because they're a big person. The international person, there will be many people, but I'm waiting for my chance. I just want to live and bless this person. There is no way that I can be around them without me blessing them. Do they need my blessing? No, I don't need my blessing. Yeah, I don't need my blessing. One time I blessed this person and it was a lot of money to me. I put it there, they forgot it. <laughs> That's fine. That's not your issue. <laughs> That's not your issue. So you may give uh, uh, them uh, five dollars and you find that they have forgotten it, they left it there. Don't be offended. You have done your part. Your part is honor. How they use it or how they forget it is not your problem. Once you get hold of this message today, it is only six points. It will change your life. I practice it, and therefore you must practice it. And therefore they must practice it as well, whoever they think they own. So all of us have our levels where we own. Is that no? So. Mm. Oh, I'm look at pastor, my pastor, my pastor. He level here, we own the hand. Rule I will lay level. Ungene will live with your substance. Because once you honor someone with your substance, it's very difficult to pull them down. You have connected already. But you I love you, my pastor. Okay. They're pastors. It will be very good for some of you to learn to honor. Yeah. Their wives, yeah. 
owner, pastor, pastor, where's the wife? Mm. I am glad I'm not saying me, me, I'm saying this, this, this. That way it's clean, it's balanced, it's pure. They are pastors. But you can still bless. You can say, Mam Fundis, I want to bless you. Whatever they do, whatever they choose to do, your job is done. Mam Fundis. I don't even know left, right, and set. I don't even ask for them. Where have I tell? <laughs> Where have I tell? They just, just do that. Possibly because I practice the principle upward myself. Mm. Wherever I go, whichever city I land, wherever I land in a city, if I land in Jopik, I have pastors there that, Bishop, no, you have arrived. Come here, Buzo, Talangapo, Buzo, the hotel, I'm paying the hotel. Because I practice the principle. When I was the principle, I was a principle. I was a principle. Because you have failed to honor. In your mind, you have to fund this. Therefore, you are mistaken. Abafundi, It will be very good for some of you businessmen to take these men and buy them suits. What size do you wear? Oh, no, their sizes. What is your size? Surprise them with a suit. I could not more a suit. A suit is Chile. Hey, um, very strange. I said, no, I don't want, no, no, no. I don't. And therefore they close blessings flowing. Okay. Find his size. 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 And buy them a suit. <laughs> or suits. To your account. I'm not campaigning for these guys. They didn't pay me to campaign. It's a message that I'm preaching. <laughs> so it's just to change the way you think about church. Okay. Now, I'm going to win in the book. How? It's in the book. I'm going It is to your account. <laughs> Like I do it with those that I look to. Do it to those that you look to. You'll be surprised the dimensions that you enter it. You say, but it has nothing to do with whether you are rich or not. It's a principle. It's a principle. I will not lend, I will not be in a place where I have someone that I look to and I don't place. Some of them, my ministry may be bigger than mine, but because I consider them a father, I bless them. I have many fathers here quietly that I bless in the city. I just come to them and I feel to bless you. Say, thank you. Can I bless you with that? Because I own that person as a father figure. It has nothing to do with the size of my ministry and the size. They may have one church there, but because this person is called father, I then go in and bless them. A father who visits me, a father visited me here, not my father. A man that when I got born again many years ago, many years ago, he was playing an accordion. He visited me. I said, what? I haven't seen you ever since. He says, yes. So I'm hearing that you got born again in, in our church and you were natured. So I just came to visit you. I said, you will not live here without, without a blessing from me. Never. You will never walk away from here. And then I blessed him. It's a principle that if you get to understand it, it only, not only touches pastors, it touches your parents. Never visit your parents without an honor seed. Your parents, those that stay away from their parents. A seed, so that you bless your parent. Never visit your mom without a seed. Make sure you bless your mother. You'll be surprised that type of honor, what it does in your life. See the fundis and your wound to tell you, tell you never wound to. Ah, no, some of you ladies here that are rich, 
know their ladies' dresses and bless them. <laughs> For your account, bless them. For me, I tell you, my, my sheep, when I say my sheep, you are my sheep, but really, yeah, you are my sheep too. Yeah. <laughs> you are my sheep and goats. Mm. <laughs> my sheep, those that have shops, open the shops for me. Say, come and pick anything that you want here. One of them opened the shop and said, I am closing this shop today, you and your wife. Anything that you want here. And me being me, when I just picked, I said to my wife, just one item. Don't go there and let's just pick one item. Pick one item, one item, and let's go. She says, but no, I'm disappointed. I'm not opening these doors until you pick more. I, no, we're done. We're done, please. That's just one. Okay, that's just one. Kungwe anya tenguse gugu na la metro kudia. Ova koni la lava ntula. Can you see? This principle shouldn't be guided by greed. Mm. It should be guided by purity. It works well with purity. Purity of heart. It works well as well when you do that. They do that elsewhere, wherever, whomever they deem to honor. And that principle changes your life. Okay. May have been put cars by people. <laughs> some of you will need to buy cars for some of these people. Ah, just in getting skin, very severe. Ah, in Christianity, Bella is step by step. You need to buy a car. Oh, my husband, I'm in love more than sure. May I've refused cars from many people. Let me keep I say, No, no, I don't want your car. You need your car more than I do. Just keep your car. Mm. So, some of you that have many more cars step a line of saying, I see you for this one. I'm gonna motor. I'm gonna motor for this one. Let me bless him for this one more. Let me bless this man with a car. I'm blessing with a car. Some of you may need even to take it a step higher. Let me bless him for this one. Abaya the Christian is the one this one. Maba salon ba manti. He have a choker. It's like seeing your parent living outside without a home and you have 20 homes and you are okay about it something wrong with you if your pastor is walking and you have several cars give him one of them yeah sugoman church you are feeling uncomfortable that's fine but I am wanting to set a principle that will bless these people, not you. It will bless them more if they do what I'm t telling them to do. Right, let me start with that level of a house. Let's find out whether they have houses. If you have many of them, start with them, you will see what happens to you. Right. Talk to your wife and seek to bless them. Cars. Live. Find out. Don't bless me. Bless them. Me, I have many people that bless me. <laughs> bless them. Find out why are you walking in Fundis, Tennessee, Conasiles, Montes, Ning. Part with one car. You will be surprised. I know wives want to do that, but Umga Kumyon Chana Yakakud. Kurumalai. Umjurutiani, this is very good for us. Let's part with that blessing. So, it's a good house, it's a good car. So, if we ain't doing it, it's a good car. It's a good car. Hey, may I give away over maybe 14 suits a year? I just give them to people. Different people. So, if you don't have access, give them in my alibi. I'm going to take a suit. 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 Oh, Mama Lo says I deliver. <laughs> Very soon. I think I'm sure you will do that. Make it your responsibility. That child, my pastor. What can I bless them with? And bless them. You are tapping into another zone. Send the keeper who casual. Ah, cuckoo, ah, cuckoo. Ah, cuckoo, velega, nitty, ah, cuckoo, cuckoo. 
hey, go up your hand, go, go. <laughs> and bless the anointing. Yeah. And then the anointing will work for you. Yeah. Some of you, they have kids at school. They have kids at school. Some of you take over and say, can I pay this term your fees? Can I help you for this one and pay your fees? Me, I educated all my kids, myself, that all of, all of them degreed, universities and so forth. I did. Find out. And you, you have never found out Can I help one way or the other? Can I come some way and help and assist? Can I come halfway? How much can I do that? Can I do that? Always if you're going to see a healthy church, you see it by doing deeds to your leaders. They will never preach this message. Probably they are feeling so uncomfortable. If it was me standing there, I would be saying, I would say, it was yesterday pass, but I'm so saying, I would say, yes, yes, yeah. All of them knowing them, they are not beggars. They don't beg for anything. They don't like to beg. They've never come to you to ask for anything from you. No, they're not. But the danger of having people like this that don't ask from you is that therefore they don't release blessings to you through your giving. Ah, if you pastor a pastor like me who gives in church more than anybody else, then you're in trouble. Because I, I don't ask anything from you. Hey, all the givings I give more, all of them. If there's something to be done, I give more. If there's something to be done, I'm always top, 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 top. Because I don't need anything. Here is the danger to you being pastored by a man like me. You don't, you don't experience blessings. Hmm? This dimension. Yes, sir. Groceries once in a while. Kumbuya nita kumbega nita mfundis. It does not matter. I'm going to say it again. It is you connecting to the grace that is flowing. Mabunga zufunu kubona mina umalu ya kuyalisa. So I know you can't. And therefore, bona lava bantula. Ongabona lava bantula. Hey, um, right. no, don't say, because I'm busy. I have so many people to see. Bona lava bantula. O tole substance. Hey, lo mu Pastor Brian, lo Pastor Amanda. Uba bone. O tanga u tinta lo kuri bone church gens katen sinje lo ba bi di bu ye friendly internet and bless them and they will pray for you. You will see what happens. Bona lava lava um pong. Uba bone and they will bless you. Bona la ama ladies la wangu tu la ulo unga unga kumti na shina ngi nunga hey we are going we are come 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 eh libiri ngao sisi nzali chisa namta jiga jiga eh ni ali pega si bili ni pega busi wuti ni vuto la come through where is going all right this is eh this is Pastor God find out what is happening in his life or in their lives. And find out, I'm talking of those that are able, even those that are not able, find out what is happening and come through for them. You'll be surprised. They will never tell you. No, I'm going to go. Is it busy? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to But find out who food is. I have so many pastors all over, globally. If you don't learn this principle, I practice it, it works for me. <laughs> works for me. I can give you testimonies even as I'm, I'm standing here. Each, each time I saw a seat, I went and saw the seat in, in another man. I just, that. within seven days, someone said, I'm sending you 50,000 US dollars. Yeah. And that has happened many a times. 
It's a principle because you are sowing to an authority figure in your life. I will never sit with an authority figure without sowing a seed, whether they need it or not. Yeah. I will be embarrassed if I have a leader above me who walks and I have the ability to buy them cars and, 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 I'm, and I'm content with that. I could buy, says Abuena, I could, cheers, 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 cheers. It will be worrying me to say, can I do this something here? Can I buy them a car? I always share things from the spirit. So this is very important to you. Whatever you do with it is up to you. But I want you to put your hands together for this one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lina Ali Kela and Gutinians and Okant. Ali Kela. Yimi and his facility with the Nancy Conokant. Right. Let me read the scripture there for it to make sense to you. Here's the scripture. Point number one. Honor with your substance by presenting something the person does not need and cannot use. That's one form. But the other form is what they can use as well. Psalm 50. Watch now as we take it to God. Verse 10 to 12. For every beast of the field, of the forest rather, is mine. This is God speaking. And the cattle on a thousand hills. He says they're mine. This is God. And he says, I know all the birds of the mountains and the wild beasts of the field are mine. Ah, if I were hungry, I will not tell you, for the world is mine and all its fullness. That's God. He says, I have everything. <laughs> so in other words, you are honoring whatever honor you are giving to God. You are giving him something that he cannot use. God does not eat goat meat or pork. I know who eats pork, certain eats pork as well, but uh, as well as us. Uh, but uh, but <laughs> God does not eat beef or pork. But you can honor God with US dollars, yet in heaven, US dollars are not used. God does not need them. But the principle of honoring God with US dollars, while he does not need them, says you are honoring God. I don't need these things, says God, but honor me. Go back to the Old Testament. He says, do not come to me empty handed. And yet he says, I don't need anything from you. <laughs> Can you see that? If you're a casual reader of the Bible and you hear God saying, I don't need anything, I have everything. Then you say, God does not need anything. And therefore I approach him that way. You miss it. Yeah. Whenever you approach God, it's to your advantage to approach him with substance. Substance will beget substance in your life. Substance will open certain doors in your life that will change you from where you are now to a great person who is highly empowered. Say amen. amen. So God must be approached that way. We understand he is the creator of the universe. But we understand substance moves him anyhow. <laughs> In a period where we are at now, I think the bond is next to nothing. I'll come back to that point. Let me leave it there. I'll come back just in case I jump the gun. Number two. Honor with your substance by presenting something physical, substantial and usable. So the first element, you're honoring God. God says, I don't need anything. But you say, it is coming from my heart, God. I know you may not need this, but I'm giving it to you as a sign that I honor you. 
I know you don't need it. I know you don't need meat. I know you don't need tithes. I know you don't need, but I'm coming that way to honor you. Honor now, number two, with your substance by presenting something physical, substantial, and usable, something that can be used. Watch Malachi, verses 6 to 8. One, verse 6 to 8. A son honors his father, and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, watch that word honor and see how it's connected to substance now. It is the same God who says I have everything. Psalm 50, I don't need anything. But watch now. A son honors his father, a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my reverence? Says the Lord of hosts to you, priests, who despise my name. Yet you say, in what way have we despised your name? As it attained God up. Next. You offer defiled food on my altar. <laughs> Yet God does not eat sadza. He doesn't eat sadza. I love brown sadza. He doesn't even eat brown salsa like I do. <laughs> Yet if you come in, let's pick it up. But you say, in what way have we defiled you? By saying the table of the Lord is contemptible. But watch verse 8. And when you offer the blind as a sacrifice, is it not evil? In the Old Testament, you know what they were doing before now? Coming to God, they will find animals that were dying. Yeah. And sneezing, that it flew. That's it, that's it. <laughs> and go and present it to God. <laughs> and say, God, here it is. I know you are laughing. I'm going to turn it to your situation so that you'll understand. Mm. So they will find all the weaklings, all the diseased animals. And when you offer the lamb and sick, is it not evil? Offer it then to your governor. <laughs> yeah, business by understand the lay language. <laughs> by understand. If you're going to see someone very important, <laughs> it's very important to understand this. And when you offer the lame and the sick, is it not evil? Offer it then to your governor. Would he be pleased with you? Uh-huh. <laughs> I once met a man here and we invited him to come in. He's a well-to-do man, a big man. Yeah, he just spoke for a few minutes to a gathering that way. A few minutes, just a few minutes, a big man. I made sure that the maximum gift that we could give to this man not because he spoke few minutes or many minutes, but because of his stature. <laughs> it is the stature, stature that you recognize. Stature that you recognize. If I invited the president here, I would make sure, even though he does not need it, I will make sure the gift that he leaves with here is a gift that says he is my president. Whether I happen to be ZANU PF or MTC or CCC or Mukayafa or, or, or Pastor Mdas Party or whatever, <laughs> I will make sure I honor that man because I understand honor has nothing to do with political affiliation. Uh -huh. Would he be pleased with you? Would he accept you, you favorably? Says the Lord of hosts. God. Is that the end of it? Yeah. So these guys now, during the days of the Bible, will then take the sickly animal and give them to go until God says, I'm tired. I'm not accepting all this. You are actually dishonoring me by bringing things that are dying, that are sickly, that are sneezing, that are crippled. Don't bring them to me. Ten today. Yeah. ten to one. Ten thousand and one point. 
So, Abba Zadu and Nabe from Ofloda, Ama Ponda. I said, because we can start taking, but we are a church. But we have to be Gaga. Don't be deceived and think it's US dollars. No, it's pounds. So, the Fagama Pondu and Alana was your mindset is in the Namanya will a toilet about Topang, walking a Sandiba Topa. You are we are a church. Eh, Fukusibi West Tons of a Topa, we said to Pim from Babel. Hi, Pamantopian from Bitcoin, you don't know Asha. These envelopes are too thin. Now, can I have a bigger one? A khaki one. Who's a Fukama Pond worth 20,000? A pond worth 20,000 is two dollars. Uh-huh. It's two dollars. <laughs> two. So he says, Sipalon Munti says, the Lord, bless me, bless me. You have offered something defiled. Me na butala ngati nungu talila. Who currently is his weakness, Nancy Puku, and Kuvelan Funda was in Ken? Hambagi Wena, the twenty thousand upon Gates, Uye Emram Binda, Oglo Mama, Uem Chiru Mamut Mama, and Ten Zogubun, and Zogubu Sisa Mama, and thirty thousand pounds, Nancy Lapumam, Uza Muzu Mama, even in Musal was going and I knew at all calculated for me for Nakitala, where I did watch. To tell me, my little Tanam, quack, quack. So, Mamma Tanam, no man, jelly three dollars, who won a man in the pillar. On a lad, every Sunday, a lad. It says Lapan, it says Lapan. I'm so cool, you mean, and Kelu, on a lad. So, three dollars. Would your mom be right to say you don't love me and honor me? Would your mother be right? Yes. Huh? Why do you think it's right, therefore, for all of us to give such gifts to God that are crippled? And then come in and say, bless me, bless me, Lord. I am blessed going out, I am blessed coming in. You will not be blessed going out. You will not be blessed coming in. You will just sing, nothing will happen to you. Because you don't understand the issues of honor. Now, we see Papa Zaranebe fully. Giving must be deliberate. You must leave home saying, What am I giving you, Lord? Kuma bicha muka inyama nje iwale tivu ipi paskiti zula. La pan su vula ingule mani na pan su hamba. Susi atopa leana iten rent. Eh, so it's here, I'm going to I see a patina church, some great givers. What great givers? On a pastor, a church, a band of ours, you'll sink, even your vision will die. We have valley church. We have valley church. You close the church. You just close it. You close it, see, we value, we value. Make way, love, and we are value. Because none are responsible. None understand the principles of God. And therefore, none understand that giving is a very crucial thing before God. So, many gifts therefore given to God in this category are unusable. Ungasipa ma pondi, la chabe 40,000, usipi 4 dollars, la tzi akangena siti hati. Ule toilet is a two thing of flash upon a lap of business. See how thin that. Sit down and allow Sunday in and Sunday out. Am I envelopes at Coleo? Up and women to run thirty times if it were parlor. But there is nothing. May God help you. And deliver you. So what you must realize is this. What is unusable to you is unusable to God. Mm -hmm. Like that man who felt that he, has worn, he had worn his underpants for some time. 
and therefore they had holes underneath where his testicles sit there they were there were holes there yeah. mm. he then gave it to me as a pastor yeah, long back and he said i love you my pastor and here is what you are saying i love the way you preach yeah there's an anointing around you so that anointing that is around me caused him to go and get a man that puts on my hat to be color that is here is the marriage and he says he read this is he can you know lay is tracy i call it as you blue is the yellow in ways to do not go as i can or we are as i'm calling was a one bizarre aside to place me and said man of god i feel like blessing you I'm giving you that example. It is how it appears to God with your gifts. Uh -huh. So I went home and I and said, "Catch me, do you want some busy? Let me tell you. I'm going to have a look at my own underpants. So I spent that afternoon burning them. He's a mad man. He's normal. He holds a doctorate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I see a dog. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's a man. Dog is a woman. Mm. And dog wouldn't have given me that anyway. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so I paint them and I never said anything to you. <laughs> So watch out there for that which you are giving is not similar to the underpants that I was given many years ago. Mm -hmm. So many gifts therefore are unusable. Number three. Honor with the substance by following what was done for Mordecai. What was done for Mordecai. We read that story. Esther chapter 6, I won't read it again. What was done for Mordecai? The king therefore asked a crucial question because Mordecai had honored the king. He reported to the king that there were men, eunuchs, Bithana and Teresh. They wanted to assassinate the king and it was investigated first and then it was discovered it was so and therefore those were apprehended the bible says they were hanged and that was it i guess they went to mordecai and said man of god that was powerful powerful revelation like most of our preachers here when they preach after preaching you say powerful powerful brian i love the way you preach and you leave him that way a child get to me other two brian qua 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 secretary revelation i've gone kaya africa grace child and a sour ah you brian a lale the revelation i believe i've said powerful <laughs> and the man goes home hungry Mm. most of the things the charismatics do don't line up with the Bible <laughs> and therefore here is how Mordecai was supposed to be honored break it down for me here number A royal clothing go go up go beyond the scripture please royal clothing that's why i was talking of clothing here please go 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 are you stuck whoever you are moving this please note the elements of honor the elements of honor just move elements of honor elements of honor seven and three la pana say okay computer right can i give them to you they will catch up with us please note the elements of great honor here's number one royal clothing scriptural that's what it says there what must be done for this man what must be done royal clothing 
Kono kena ting kumang bis koko sabo mama bonava ngaya ba kwani sa so into that it will help you. It will stop you criticizing them. It will stop you looking down upon them because once you are sowing upward, the sense of honor comes in. Aya, royal clothing, meaning into zakuna azibelo mswa ni anti. Hey, ngawi pefu mimi ngabi muzoni moya. Inga bila nuta ngai fage kuapeni wana ngapuma pandati. Hallelujah, kwa sokupeli. Si a qui manger à bafou disant. Gafnera d'Okan. A special horse. Give me two seconds. Just special horse. A form of transportation. Vous savez pas, Billy, nous on gagne au Kuluma. Kulumi, nous t'avons fou disant. Il y a un want. Eh. Oh, can you just a pair of shoes. Find out. <laughs> Find out. Ukogusa is born in Fundis. Mama, Ukogusa is born in school. Mami, week ya kwe is born in Obama Kandachian. We are taking a look into Kubegan Sumvara, Kikoa, and Africa Sumvara. Find out. Church, I want you to practice this message. I practice it, it will work for you. I can tell you. A crown. Something special. A crown is something very, very special. Something special. What is the next one? Public acclamation and recognition. But we spend most of the time on number four. Instead of one, two, and three. Oh, my pastor is anointed. Come and hear my pastor. Oh, my bishop is anointed. Come and hear my bishop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, our pastors, our pastors. Oh, no. What is to be done? <laughs> one, two, three, and four. Lump them together, please. Just show them together. One, two, and three. Yeah, <laughs> royal clothing, a special horse, a crown, public acclamation. I am sure, Pastor Brian, you have preached and many people have said, Ah, great revelation. Next time, we now number one, we number two, number three. Hey, 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 so it must go on. There. What must be done? Something usable. So the scriptures therefore answer all questions about what to do when you want to honor someone. I've just listed it down for you. We are good. We live bala. We are good. Maya. Ay, 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 anointing pezu wako, ay, ay, ay. Senga zoba nengi benche la loko. La minya kwa zifuti. I know that. What is to be done? Number... Honor with the substance by doing something expensive for the person you want to honor. Something expensive. Can you see now? Doesn't God owns everything. He doesn't need anything but your honor. Sankena ke kuna kule eti ni? Kangela manotak sankena kule eti ni? Something physical, substantial. Katesu kuna number four, aren't you? Three. Number three. <laughs> number four. See, you know, number four. Honor with substance by doing something expensive for the person you want to honor. Watch this woman who knew how to honor at HQ. Take this church as HQ church. Watch that. 
And being in Bethany at the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at the table, a woman came having an alabaster flask of very costly oil or spinach. Then she broke the flask and poured it on his head. <laughs> Oba fit kama members e e HQ e sonta lo Jesus. Benga kwazi how to honor Jesus. She is a new Christian. She has just walked in in church. Wa fit ke zinye zithezi vele zikolisa lo Jesus. Enye e recline ifake ikhandela yesifumene sika Jesus. Mm. E kulisa no futa. It's very easy to enjoy the anointing and never tap into it. And you notice that all those people that were in that church on that day were never memorialized. We don't read their names as we read about this woman. But she came in a different way. Let's follow her. But there were some who were indignant among themselves saying, why was this pregnant oil wasted? When they saw this new member Buying pastor a BMW, they said you are talisman. Mumfas work talisman, you are talisman. Um, take any BMW. Kaga bini license. They were in Jesus' church. Can you imagine being in a church with Jesus is pastoring there? for that moment and not perceiving the greatness and the others begin to complain and say oh it's a waste it's a waste imuntele ifuna banye vela bale zibote zinengi lo mthwela moti kaso sayigcine ku Timothy it's a waste <laughs> but there were some who were indignant among themselves saying why has this pregnant oil wasted? They called it giving to Jesus a waste. I'll tell you why. The oil was equivalent, if you read the historians, 12 month wages of a soldier. 12 months. Babayaz, le pungalai. Utiad is it a pwa? Iwele kanda. Ezu won chute zele zati haya. O chute zu mwaban. I'm a business people. And so forth. Mm. Oh, West. Such as a calculator, I ate. Catiscani, Marie Pugim, I invest a lapano machines, men's a double. But why West? They say this verse five, for it might have been sold for more than 300 denarii and given to the poor. They were lying. Yeah. The poor they had with them. They were looking at money going to waste. In their minds, they were thinking it's going to waste. And Jesus responded and said, Leave her alone. Leave her alone. I hope it's a toilet motor which my one look. I hope take any motor. I hope Brian Abayant was take any motor. But you must understand this type of a gospel. It's a gospel that will take you over. So do something costly and expensive for the person you honor. Hmm. Look at you, man of God. I really value you. I really honor you. Yesterday, somebody phoned me and said, Bishop, it doesn't belong to my church. Bishop, I really honor you. I really, yeah. For me, I wanted to just watch, watch Manchester as well as uh, Manchester and who? In, 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 in Jamila. I was just saying, please, I'm honoring Manchester here and, and finish what you are saying. I really honor you. I really honor. I just said, can you finish? 15 minutes, I didn't see what happened. 15 minutes. Because of this person who was sick. I just wish they say, oh, yeah, can I come and see you? Verbal honor is very cheap. How would I know I mean, Pilabazan? 
<laughs> there are some times you will set aside all restraints when you find someone that you want to honor and say I'm setting aside all restraints I want to honor this person and go out of your way <laughs> when you do you cross certain lines in the spirit but look at what we do with our parents at funerals our parents while they live we never do anything the moment they die you feel the pressure to buy a casket you have never put them even a dress yeah now you want the casket five thousand because your friends are going to come yeah so you are not honoring them you are honoring yourself you are saying least i'm found not to be caring which your mother while she was alive she never ate so for not three course this thickness has been soft go up your bishop lapa and so forth that man that woman lived as a pauper you never did anything now they are dead and everybody I need Bishop himself preaching and so forth and so, you want me preaching you dishonored your parent while they lived you never cared about them yet you can do something very expensive for someone that you honor Africans are good at crying crocodile tears at funerals. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Because we are not good at crying crocodile tears at funerals. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, What's the point of talking to someone and doing all these things and that, but that person is gone? I know some of you, your parents are gone. You never treated them well while they lived. You are hearing this message, you are thinking, my God, what can I do? Find someone that you own and do it right this time. Say amen. Amen. It's unbelievable at funerals. I'm sure if those, that parent will wake up instant that call is up. Why sure? And this woman honored Jesus and she understood. And Jesus said, wherever this gospel. Is going to be preached. This woman's name must be mentioned. We are preaching about her today. Is that not so? Hey, hey, number five. Honor with substance by giving a good honorarium to the prophet, to the pastor, apostle who has blessed you. Your honorarium is evidence of your honor. What is an honorarium? Just in case. You are thinking everybody who preaches here each time I come here and preach, then you give me one. No, I'm not talking about that. An honorarium is when I've invited a guest speaker. When I invite a guest speaker to come, there is no guest speaker here that stands, even my sons here, that stand here without me giving them money and blessing them. I have to bless them. They're not asking for it. In fact, most of them, it's their privilege to come and preach here because I'm always preaching here. <laughs> so when I invite them once in a while they find themselves standing here I bless them there is no way I'm talking of those that don't fellowship here ninety times <laughs> <laughs> no, when we Kaila, can you imagine if I'm preaching every time you're giving me money here? How much money will you give me? You see now, I'm not talking of that. I'm talking of an invited guest, whether within Harvest House or outside Harvest House. 
Why do we get any guest speaker that we wanted to harvest us? Because we go out of town when they come. They don't tell us that. We do that. Some we had to go and change their mattresses, bed mattresses in a hotel, change. <laughs> Some we've hired people that we think are more honorable to drive them. But some will bless their wives. Some will have looked and said, you know what? My wife is very good in that. Let's buy suits. There's a pastor who came in recently, last year, late last year, came here. Let's buy suits. Buy suits for them. Let's buy suits for them. Let's buy this suit and that suit. Do they need them? They don't need them. May they, will they wear all of them? Maybe not. But we've gone in and said, we're blessing you with quality. We're blessing you with quality. We're blessing you with quality as you leave. We're blessing you with quality. So if I pick up a phone and say, can you come over here and preach the Urashi? I told you one man who came here, he wasn't supposed to come here. He was passing through and going back. He just he said, I can't go without seeing Bishop Jan. So they diverted and came here. I am sure in their minds they remembered that man when you visit his church. Ha ha ha. church yet. Now, look at what they did to prophet pastor Samuel. Then Saul said to his servant, but look, if we go, what shall we bring the men of God? They are going to the church of Samuel's church. Yeah. We are going there. What shall we bring? For the bread in our vessels is all gone, and there is no present to bring to the men of God. What do we have? Verse 8. And the servant answered Saul again and said, look, I have here at hand one fourth of a shekel of silver. I will give that to the man of God to tell us our way. By a son to Samuel. And that changed Saul's life. Saul encountered the prophetic there. He was looking for donkeys. He didn't know that there was an anointing waiting for him to be a king. And then when he did that, Samuel said, tomorrow I'm going to eat with you. Yeah, yeah tomorrow. Where is he forgetting a thombe? Eliga Samuel Utadde, Usul rather. And he said, uh, and he said, don't worry, your donkeys have been found. Don't worry about them. But this is what you are looking for. Kingship of Israel has come upon you. Bam! That's how Saul became a king. By remembering to carry a shekel. I know false prophets abuse this. <laughs> Everything of God has a balance. Yeah. Don't look at the abuse of it and fail to do it. You are abusing the system yourself too. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh. May I say I practice this principle. And I practice it many a times on many, many of God that I consider greater than myself. Hmm. It is up to you to consider. No one should tell you this one is greater. It's up to you. If you consider yourself greater than someone, then that's fine. Hmm. But if you consider them greater than you as you meet them and they have a dimension that you need, so into it. It changed your life. It's not pastors trying to enrich each other here. It's a game of fundis. But some go pan him. I I see it in him. But you see it the principle of Kulunku. Say Amen. How la tula basala no mini kona? Ndeli kona in basala. So the expense you make is a sign of honor. Mm. And the expense made on you is a sign of honor. Hallelujah. And many pastors are not honored in their churches. But cheer my church. I can have a cheer with Val. Ungaba Ungaba Kondema Sibiluta, I have a cheer, church of a fundis. But my pastor ban to Java understand the principles of God. My pastor ban to Banjing, Lom to his pants walk. Look at your neighbor and say, My pastor ban to Banjing, how is it? 
tell them what we na so keep up and do our name about uncle uncle as if we see we na na we look at them and say we na besa chuma ele o pastor mtabas but ah china singaba fundi skate skate singaba we headmaster as I was a financial director. Notice this, I'm preaching this message, directing it to these men here, that you do something concerning these men and women here. Yeah. Is that not so? Ntia kunjalo bazala nba. So as child you point you clean as so men. So soul's life totally changed on point number 5. Completely by understanding honor. So honor is a big thing. Number 6. Honor with substance by rewarding the person who has been a blessing to you. A person who has been blessing to you. Yeah. A person who has been a blessing to you. When you visit them, remember to honor them. Remember to honor them. Remember to honor them. When you visit them. You see different types of honor here in point number six. Let's read how prophets and angels and apostles were honored. Numbers 22, verse 15 to 17. Then Balak again sent princesses among numerous and more honorable than they. More honorable than they. And they came to Balaam and said to him, That says Balak, the son of Zippo, please let nothing hinder you from coming to me. Verse 17. For I will certainly honor you greatly, and I will do whatever you say to me. Therefore, please come. They wanted Balaam or Balak, Balaam to kiss someone. And therefore they were prepared to honor the servant of God by whatever measure he desired. Hey. Let's look at Manoah's wife. Then Manoah said to the angel of the Lord, What is your name that when your words come to pass, we may honor you? <laughs> they received a prophetic message. Manoah's wife, you have been barren, you will conceive. They knew what to do automatically. We must honor. Tell us your name so that we may honor you. Honor with substance is very very key indeed if you are to move from where you are now to a level where you enjoy empowerment say amen, amen. now to preach this message without exercising a little bit of it is is futile it's just let you go yeah. i am going to Collect an offering here so that you can exercise but this message. I didn't prepare for this. I'm just thinking of it now. Do you have envelopes here anyway? Do you have envelopes? Give me envelopes here. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't tell you. I didn't think I would do this, but as I'm preaching, I'm feeling maybe we all do that at this point. Yeah, just right here. Thank you. Aba ni namu sana juu kete lele labu ya lama bonze kwa list kama senless, is kama senless kuleziana. Lipindo is kuelela ya lapant. So we are going to do this 
and practice this, practice our faith here. Those that want to come here, I'm going to hold all the envelopes here. Come through it with me here and practice this principle. Tell me one or two envelopes, it's up to you. It's a principle. It's up to you. Over the other munch. Over Punkunkuli Pond. The man. We are so valuable, mom. Yes. I'm challenging in particular business people. If you're a business person here, practice this message. For pastors, leaders, very important. And seek to part with key things in your life. Otherwise, it's a pampula lab. The supernatural is needed in Zimbabwe. Oza perera umpabu. Oza buyuzi business ya kwekela mpongu tula minuti na ujele, mutu yenze. How? Enya. Sufumitada honga my envelopes. It's a principle. It will work for you. So into these men, women of God here, Call them, set, bless them with money. Two. Bless them with resources. Oh, I think I'm a passing. I saw a passing regime. Buy them something substantial. Cross lines and buy them cars. If your pastor is broke, you pray for you, yes. The anointing will flow, yes. But it will be better that he, <laughs> he prays for you from a, a position of prosperity. Where's the other person? Hmm. How is this credit? Father, you see the lapan. That means the father. So that he can be hypocrite and preach a message that I don't practice. Many business people don't know how to give, actually. They are poor givers. They don't know how to support a vision. They don't know how to run with a vision. If you have a church full of business people, you go under. Some of you need to go to the administration. Yeah, here is the administrator. We are finished. We are finished. Nimbuze, it builds up as a muscle is Zimenjan. I'm a credit Zakwanjan. I'm saying, right, I'll take over for this month. Ask him. A land and building Yakumaru Yakutingan. Ask him. Get serious with the things of God. Ask him and so. Oma blogus chigiri nchi kula yela pe zinga zinga ngati lutu zkuete la ask him because we are dignified we don't we don't beg we don't we don't follow that method it does not say mean that there are no needs there are needs. What a, what a difficult message. Is that a difficult message? All right. I have a pen too. When you have written your envelope, please 
put it there, then we can pray, or rather hold it, and then we can. If it's, oh, do I press it? <laughs> or if it's a pledge payable tomorrow or Tuesday, just write so. Just in case you don't we didn't bring big monies here. Once for a cent Thank you. Have you lifted up your seat now? Say, this is my honor seed. I place it now before you. I'm asking that like Mordecai, you will empower me in a supernatural way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please let's do so quickly and then we can go. Did you put your hands together for I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I One, two, and three. Amen. We catch up with you Tuesday. Goodbye. Mm.